This video will go over how to apply for a permit for the Narrows Top Down Overnight Hike. It's brought to you by Zion Adventure Company, offering outfitting, guiding, shuttles, and information for the Narrows. A permit is required for the Narrows Top Down Hike. On the Zion National Park website, you can apply for a permit for the one-day hike or the two-day overnight hike. This video will go over step-by-step -step how to apply for the overnight permit on the park's website. Begin by opening an internet browser and typing the web address for the Zion National Park website in the address bar. The web address is nps.gov slash Zion. Hit enter and you will be taken to the Zion National Park homepage. Scroll down the page until you find the link for Wilderness Information and Permits. It can be found on the right-hand side of the page. Clicking on this link will redirect you to the Wilderness Information and Permits page, where you can find all the activities in Zion that require permits. The Narrows Hike falls into the category of backpacking and hiking. Click on the link for backpacking and hiking to be taken to a new page. On the backpacking page, scroll down until you find the link titled, Make a Reservation for a Backpacking Permit. On the following page, you will be able to click on the link titled, Make a Backpacking Reservation. Reservations for the Narrows are available online during a three-month time frame. On the fifth day of every month at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, reservations for the next month become available. On the following page, you can use the drop-down menu to select which resource or campsite location you would like to make a reservation for. The Narrows campsites that are reservable will start with the words Virgin Narrows. All of the other names are for campsites in other areas of the park. A campsite with a lower site number indicates that it occurs earlier in the Narrows. The number in parentheses refers to the maximum group size for that particular campsite. Only one group is permitted to stay at each campsite, meaning there will be no other group sharing your campsite. Select the campsite of your choice and you will be directed to a page with three calendars on it. The dates in green indicate that there are still reservations available for that date for your campsite. The dates in red indicate that reservations are no longer available for that date. Walk-in permits will become available one day prior to the date and can be applied for at the Park Visitor Center backcountry desk. The number in the bottom left-hand corner of each date indicates how many permits are available for that date. You can select a date by clicking on the date's number in order to take you to the permit application page. This final page will go over your trip information, including the resource area you have chosen, your trip start date, the number of people in your party, and includes a $5 reservation fee. Select your itinerary and then fill out your personal information below. Thoroughly read over the permit conditions regarding leave no trace ethics and flash flood safety. After doing so, agree to each condition by selecting the checkbox on the left. When you have finished and looked over the application, Scroll to the bottom of the page and click the Submit Reservation Application to have it sent to the National Park Service. The National Park Service will review your application and if accepted, you will receive an email with your reservation information. Remember, this email is not your physical permit. You will need to pick up the permit from the backcountry desk at the National Park Visitor Center the day before or day of your hike. When making plans to pick up your permit, be aware of the backcountry desk operating hours.